Hey guys, so today I'm doing my March favorites. I'm kind of having like a chill day here at the house today, so I'm wearing not a lot of makeup, but I'm wearing some of my favorite stuff that I'm going to be showing you today. Um, March has been a great month for me and trying out new products. And I have um, face products, nail, and hair. And the first thing is that I have three foundations. I know, kind of outrageous, but I've been on this quest on finding like my holy grail foundation. So I have these three here. The first one is by Makeup Forever. This, this is the matte velvet. Uh, I like it because it is that kind of foundation that um, leaves you pretty matte. It is kind of pricey. For, I think it was like, it's either 32 or 38. I can't remember. But yeah. more than what I wanted to pay for a foundation. But I did. Oh. Uh. And I'm in the color 65. The second foundation is Revlon Color Stay. So this foundation has bomb coverage. Like really good coverage. I'm not kidding. Like it's crazy how good the coverage is. Um, the only thing is that I have... I guess I have oily combination skin, I, but I'm really oily here and here. And I f tend to, regardless, get oily with this. I see oils coming through. So because of that, um, you know, I still um, was looking for the right foundation. But coverage-wise, I think this one is amazing if you have oily skin. Uh, but I did find a great foundation. And it's the CoverGirl 3 and 1 Outlast. This is like the new foundation that they have. Uh, this, oh my god. This stuff is the... Can I say a bad word here? You know, like it really is. Like it is... Amazing I oily skin. I wore this literally for 13 hours didn't have to do any touch-up and like it's crazy how good Matter how what a good mattifying foundation it is foundation is freaking amazing. Um, I love it This is probably this is it. This is what I've been looking for Along with that I with the face uh I've been using a lot of the Laura Mercier foundation primer only because with a foundation like this, uh, you have to Oops. foundation like oh. that, you have to use, you can't really use if you have oily skin a mattifying primer because then you end up looking dry and that's what happened to me. But Laura Mercier and this is, has been my to go primer for this month. And to set my foundation, I've been using the good old banana powder that we used to use in theater class when I was doing theater. And um, this stuff, I just set my my makeup with this and it lasts even longer. So uh, Another thing is the Maybelline Each Rewind Concealer. And this is um, supposed to help with dark spots. I... The few times that I do get pimples now, I get dark spots. It's like automatically. It doesn't even matter. This is why it's so crucial for me to maintain with my skincare routine when it comes to acne prone skin. Because I get like dark spots right away. And I still have this little thing here that doesn't go away. But this actually has helped. Uh, so comes with a little applicator like this. I don't know if I'm too fond of the whole application and the twisting and stuff, but I mean, that's how it comes. I like it. I find it that I need to add a lot of product in order to get the coverage that I want. I'm using the color medium deep, so maybe I need to go lighter on that. And another great thing that I've been using has been the voluminous Fiber Lash from L'Oreal. So I love the telescopic. Love, love, love. I wanted to try this um, because, you know, I'm trying new things. This one has little fibers. I don't even know if the camera can pick it up. Um, I like it. I think that it makes my 
lashes way thicker than what they are. I don't find it that it's a good mascara to build up because it'll get clumpy. And if you have, you know, somewhat decent lashes, then you can use this and it'll just make them look extra big. And lastly, for face products, uh, it is this lip gloss that I've been turning to. This is in the color Outer Glamour and it comes with the little wand like this. It's like a hot pink with shimmer. Sticky as I thought they were going to be, but that's a good thing. And that is it for face products. Moving on to nail products. This is my favorite nail polish of the moment, which is Sally Hansen nail polish in the color mint and if you can see I'm wearing it and I made the little initials for my husband's name and this was $2.99 at Rite Aid and I am so impressed I've had one long time ago like a yellow color I'm so impressed how pigmented these are just because you know I only added like two coats and normally I just even something's pigmented I still like will add like two three coats but it's just such a great Nail polish is such a pretty color, so $2.99. And I know that in one of my favorites, I don't know which one, I had a nail polish remover by Equate. But, and I was loving it. But, Sally Hansen has one the same, and holy moly, this is even better. This is crazy status, you guys. Like, I'm not even kidding. Like, you just dip your finger and it's off. Um... It was, I think, $2.99 too. And the only thing looks like that. You just dip your fingers in there. The only thing is that um, the actual sponge in comparison to the Equate is really, really soft. So um, I don't feel like you can dip your fingers and move them around as much. But that's probably because you don't really have to. You just kind of have to dip it in there and then your nail polish is off. So, Sally Hansen, quick off. My next thing is Crest 3D White Strips. Um, I am not the kind of person who can get their teeth whitened because I, it's painful for me. So I've been, but I've been wanting to get my teeth whitened. So I started doing these. Uh, there's different levels. I'm only doing level two. Um, maybe I'll move up to level three. Uh, but these are awesome, you guys. Uh, you just put them on for 30 minutes and I am already seeing the difference. So I'm probably going to do the three next. Um, I got, these were $39.99 at Rite Aid. Then there was a, they had a $10 off, them themselves. And I had a $7 off coupon. So I paid $22 something for them and you can't beat that. So uh, next for hair, uh, it is the L'Oreal Theria ombre and I am wearing my hair straight today so you guys could see uh, because I did a video review on it and you guys saw it curly but here it is straight so I did this myself and I have a review on it if you guys want to see uh, what it looks like I'll go ahead and link it down below but it's one of my favorites for March because I'm pretty happy with the results and I think it's easy and I think anybody could do it and 12 bucks beats, you know, whatever, how much an ombre costs. So, and the last thing is this Walita oil, which is a rosemary hair oil. You can use it three different ways. You can use it as a hair gloss. So you put a couple of drops and just put it in your hair. You can use it as a like deep conditioning and you just put it on 30 no 40 minutes you put it like a shower cap or something and then you wash it off or you can use it as a hot oil treatment which we have to warm it up and then you leave it for a couple of hours which is my next step which is what I'm going to do I've only done the um 40 minute treatment uh, but it's a great I'm oil I'm so happy with the results because it just leaves the hair like nice and smooth and shiny. So that's all the products that I have. I wanted to make this video as quick as possible so I don't bore you guys. But I feel like I have amazing goodies this time around. And just don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you have any um, videos that you might want me to do, 
then just comment down below and I'll try to get to it. And I'll see you guys later. Have a good one, you guys. Bye.